Lake Tahoe is called a year-round playground. From boating and fishing and camping and water skiing in the summer to snow skiing in the wintertime. However, getting there can be a little difficult in snowstorms in the winter months. Especially this year, starting on New Year's, we've been getting hammered for two weeks. Storm after storm. Every day they update the base totals. Currently over 300 inches of snow. Getting close to 400 inches. But eventually the sun comes out and it stops snowing. Downtown Reno with the foothills with a fresh blanket of snow. And just over that mountain is the beautiful Lake Tahoe. Also known as the Blue World, crystal clear waters. For this snow art challenge, I painted on Art and Fly Premium Watercolor Pad 100% cotton, 140 pound cold press paper. In this snow art challenge, I'm painting scenes of Lake Tahoe. You have to plan the areas that you want to preserve the white of the paper with watercolor. So one of the ways is you could use a stencil to cover up the paper, or you could use traditional drying gum, masking fluid that you would put on your paper to cover up the white of the paper and then later you have to peel it off. Or you can use different sources of white paint to go over the top of your paint to make it look like white snow. You can use India ink. My personal favorite is white gouache. There's Posca pens, different sizes. And then the old jelly roll it comes in different sizes. You can also just paint around the areas that you want to preserve the white of the paper. So after I've completed my sketch, I'm going to wet the area of the paper that I'm going to put watercolor paint into. And then I'm just going to simply start dropping in paint. If you want some clouds, you just take your brush, brush, make sure it's nice and dry. You can go in and lift out clouds, removing the pigment. You can also take your tissue and 
dab to lift out the pigment to make the clouds. Snow is not always totally white. Some, a little bit of blue to produce some snow shadows. I also want some colors to show kind of the contours of the land. Oh, is at an elevation of 6,225 feet. Has a length of approximately 22 miles long and a width of 12 miles wide and about 70 miles of shoreline. Okay, while well, that lake water is drying, I go in and st start putting in the details on my skier. Some white gouache at the tops of these clouds. Make them look a little more white. A bunch of snow coming off the skis. Put some pants on this guy. Looking at some trees in the foreground. Over 40 years ago, I moved to the Lake Tahoe, Reno area. I had some buddies back then that were some pretty hardcore sk skiers. But I had never done it growing up in Oregon. So I tried a couple times and I was still a beginner and I had just learned how to snow plow. My buddies took me up to Palisades Tahoe, which back then was Squaw Valley. Took me on a run up to the top of the hill and they said, oh, we'll see you at the bottom. And it was snowing so hard that day you couldn't see the tips of your skis hardly. And I remember falling flat on my face about every 10 feet, soaking wet, finally made it to the bottom of the hill. And needless to say, I became a fair weather, sunshine only skier that day.
Let's give this guy some skis. Must be in a shadow that this guy's casting. Okay, this is a gnarly cornice or wall, whatever you want to call it, that this guy just flew off of. I'm going to put some icicles. We got loose snow that he's busted all up and it's going everywhere. He came crazily off the side of the mountain here. This is why I prefer the white gouache because it's so much brighter than any other whites. You can go back in and add better details with it. Now we can go back in and add some snow on these trees. There you have it, a skier enjoying a beautiful day at Lake Tahoe, enjoying that fresh powder. So whether you're a snowboarder, a cross-country skier, or you're into downhill, there's plenty of acres of trails for skiing at Lake Tahoe. And if you're not a skier, you can always go on a snowmobile tour. Or play on inner tubes. Elf Lord's Journeys. Watercolor paintings, travel, and scenic videos. Peace!